For more than 100 years, California was the golden state. In the past 30 years, it's become the poverty capital of America. A higher percentage of Californians are impoverished than in any other state. Tens of thousands of homeless people live in L.A. County. Many of them are concentrated in a tent metropolis along Skid Row. So what's it like in California's heart of darkness? Rebel Media's Katie Hopkins came over from London and spent this past weekend there in downtown Los Angeles getting a sense. She joins us now with her report. Katie, um, you're not from the United States. You don't live here. So you have, a, I think, a kind of fresher take on this. What was your reaction when you saw Skid Row in L.A.? Well, for a long time, you know, every time I'm in L.A., you drive past Skid Row or people point out, oh, that's Skid Row. That's where the homeless people live. And it's almost as if everyone can just turn away, look away, don't go there. Even right. uh, in a hotel that was giving out maps, they put a sticker over Skid Row, so, so as if it doesn't exist. So I figured, well, I'll go there, I'll stay there, I'll meet the people that are there, and I'll just see how big this problem is. And I can tell you, Tucker, it's like nothing else on earth. I've been to some migrant camps, but this is worse than that. It is one big sea of human waste and effluent and rats and filth. And the number of rats there just outweighs the population, which is in the order of two to 3,000 people living in these tents. And it is a desperate situation, but I really feel as well there is a human health hazard in the center of L.A. downtown, and that is a time bomb waiting to go off. It's very much like London in the 1600s, just right. prior to the bubonic plague. And that's what you guys are up against. And it's no wonder that Democrats would rather talk about sanctuary cities or dreamers, because that sounds so much nicer than potential bubonic plague in the middle of downtown L.A. So some of the video that you sent us is too over the top even for us to show. And this is, you know, taking place on the street. It's too disgusting, honestly. I just, I walked around Bombay, India not long ago, uh, for all day, never saw anything like this. Los Angeles is much richer than Bombay. Why does this exist in a city as rich as L.A.? Mm. It's a curious thing. You know, people go there, there's lots of tears and sympathy. There's lots of missions. There's a woman's shelter. There's a place, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of places of care. But I think ultimately and fundamentally what's missing from Skid Row is someone capable of gripping the place. You know, Democrats are always full of tears, tea and sympathy and giving out charity. What you need in there is the military to go in. You need housing units put in place, temporary shelters, and you need to clear the area in order to clear it up. And that's not going to be done with sympathy. And that's not going to be done with, oh, it's such a shame, these poor people. That's going to be done with some kind of military operation to clear up that area. And no one's really going to want to take that. And what we need in America, I think, is more leaders who are willing to be unpopular and a few more journalists, perhaps, who are willing to stop navel gazing or gazing at the cleavage of stormy whoever and actually going out there and reporting on some of the reality that we face day to day on streets that no one's talking about. Right. And it's not just, I'm, I'm embarrassed as an American to say to you, a Brit, that it's not just Los Angeles. It's Chicago, it's San Francisco, it's Washington, D.C., it's New York City. There's, there's something that connects these. So give, it, give us... I, give I think us that's your, right. Right. So give us your, your 15 seconds of that. What, what do you think it is? What, what's the cause of this? What's the ideology behind it? I think this all stems from the sense that everybody is free to do whatever they want in the sense that we'll support the fact that the family unit doesn't matter anymore. We'll yeah. support the fact that you can rely on the government for everything. We'll support the fact the government's supposed to provide you with a house, that you don't have to take individual accountability. And what ends up then is a bunch of people who are completely lost, who are beyond help. You shut down the sanatoriums as well. They have nowhere to go. But tea and sympathy and allowing people to live however they like isn't going to cut it. And this entire area of downtown, no one goes there. I was the only no, woman there that I saw that wasn't living I in bet. a tent. And what I would say to people of California is, you think this is a problem in downtown? This problem is coming to you. These tent cities are building all over the place. That's, and they'll be that's on your literally true. Soon enough, no, you're absolutely right. And maybe right. then you'll care. Katie Hopkins, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thank you.